Hello creative people and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful top. I am in love with this top. I think it's so classy, so elegant and also very, very sexy. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let's get started. To create this pattern you need basic pattern for bodice and you can find it on my channel. The first changes that I'm doing here is I'm closing the incision that is on the shoulder and placing it on the side of the top. You don't have to have the incisions because of the fabric but if you want to you can add that. For the back I'm just gonna cut it right through the incisions and I'm just gonna keep one piece. Moving on to the sleeves, for the sleeves I measured from the lower line 20 centimeters and if you want you can do it 15 or make it smaller or bigger however you like but for me 20 was perfect and I'm not going to do any other changes to this part of the sleeve, I'm just going to keep it this way. For the rest of the sleeve I'm actually cutting it right in half and creating it for a uh, kind of bands between each and every single band uh, I decided to go with 2.5 uh, centimeters distance um, if you want to make it bigger and fluffier sleeves then you can do maybe three uh, or four it's optional but for me I decided to go with 2.5 For the collar and the length is your neckline and I decided to go with 10 centimeters thickness and for the waistband is 2 meters and the thickness is 15. For the material I will be using my pattern that I showed you in the beginning of this video. You will be needing scissors, some hemming web, pen or a crayon and these beautiful pearl buttons. I actually used two pairs of these um, and you will be needing this special band that is um, actually has this elastic loops where you can place the buttons through and this is specially made for wedding dresses. So if you go to a fabric store you'll definitely find this band. I don't know why I'm showing you scissors twice. And you will needing also of course measuring bands some pins and the most annoying fabric in the world which is chiffon silk fabric. The first step as always is to place the pattern on the fabric, measure 1 cm for the sewing and cut out all of the pieces. This time I decided to start with the sleeves and I'm doing inner lining with the whole top. So I'm going to start with the smaller part of the sleeve which is around the wrist and I'm taking the special band and placing it right between the two fabrics and then I'm just going to sew the sides. And of course don't forget to sew the lower line. And when you are flipping it inside out, this is how it's supposed to look. Because this fabric is very hard to work with, I decided to place the hemming web on the sides and also on the lower line and then I'm just gonna iron it so it sticks and it gives me a much more stronger structure. And of course we need to sew the buttons and for the buttons uh, because they're a little bit big than what distance between these little tiny elastic loops are so I'm gonna have to jump over one and then I place one and then jump over the other one and just place the other button. You will see later on in the video what I mean. Now moving on to the second part of the sleeve and this is the big bell and the, before I do anything with it I need to sew the side. Then I'm just gonna connect those two pieces together and with extra fabric just create some wrinkles to get like big fluffy sleeves. And this is how it's supposed to look. Moving on to the back. For the back I'm just gonna sew a straight line right on the side of the back on the both sides and zigzag and also place the hemming web inside just to cre create it much more stronger. Thank you. 
Then I took my front and my back pieces and connect them together, which are the sides of the both front and back. And uh, as you can see, they are actually sold the incisions. You don't have to do that step if you don't want to sew the, the add the incisions. You don't have to do it. But um, in the video when I was filming, I actually sold them, and then when I tried on, I actually took them out because I didn't actually need to have them. So, yeah. I flip my uh, top inside out and I sew the front piece shoulders together. Then you will be flipping it inside out again and connect the shoulders. For the turtleneck, we are doing similar steps as we did for the little parts of the sleeves that are around the wrist. Uh, so we're just gonna place that little band and then we are just going to sew the sides. Once we have sewed the sides, we're gonna place the hemming web inside and iron it just to create it a little bit stronger structure. And then we are just going to connect it together with the top. Of course, don't forget to sew the little buttons as well. When you have connected the turtleneck together with the top, you have to connect also the sleeves and for the sleeves I actually just uh, follow straight underneath the armpits and then I just made it like bigger ruffles on the top of the shoulders. And the last piece to add to the top, the one that actually is closing the top, otherwise without this piece you cannot close the top. You will go topless but the last step is to actually add this little thick band that will go around your waist and actually close the top so what I'm doing here is just connecting it together because this fabric is very hard to work with so I decided to connect it first together with the top and then fold one centimeter and uh, connect it with the other side and of course we cannot forget to just sew the edges And this is the finishing product. I am in love with this top. I think it's so sophisticated, but also sexy in a way. So I really, really love it. I actually wore it maybe twice before I posted this video and I'm just in love with it. It's very comfortable, it's very class, it's very elegant, but also a little bit sexy, which I really like. So I really hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like always, if you have any other suggestions or what kind of videos you want to see on my channel please comment below or contact me on my social media all of my links are in my description box below see you till next time hit on